Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 24. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram, but hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. So we're going to be uh, taking part in the V12 Screamers. Pagani Zonda, the same one as us, is the second choice on here. Top being the McLaren F1. That may be a worry, but based on the fact that we did destroy that Koenigsegg in the last race, in the last club, we might have a chance with the McLaren F1. So uh, first of all, we're going against Netzorg in the Aston Martin DB9 Coupe. Let's go. Let's beat this DB9. I think I'm going to focus on clubs more today uh, because we did a lot of races yesterday um, and not enough clubs. So I think clubs is going to be our focus for the next few episodes. And we are off. Okay, 3.8 miles. This is decent. This is proper race lengths now. Not the short crap that we had before. Proper good lengths. Here we go. Nice. Oh, that's ridiculous, that corner. You are driving in the wrong direction. But again, we are going against an Aston Martin, so we don't have to worry too much. At the next turn left. Turn left. Very nice. Turn right. I feel like we should have taken the Aston Martin for the first few races, just to shuffle it up. But, uh, eh, a bit late now. It's going well. Just hit the one minute mark. And we've had a massive collision with the lorry. Come on. Nice. No, we're off road. Get back on the road. Thank you. Perfect. Come on. Squeeze in through the traffic here. It is very hot. Jesus. I've not had seen Britain this hot for a while. This is one of the hottest days it's been this year. Easily. But here we go. The finish line, across we go. 1 minute 55.5, that's a very good time. We'll take our 4,000 credits, we're now up to 100,000. Gonna have to try and get at least a million, because we gotta buy a new house. So we can fit more cars. Next up is the Aston Martin Vanquish S V12. That car was about 300,000 just for C-Class. So, uh, definitely not worth the money. Here we go. 400,000 credit A-class car. Technically 600,000 after the upgrades. Against 300,000 C-class car. I think we might win. And still be worth the money as well. Oh, the Aston Martin has made a contact. It has crashed. That's not good for the Aston. At the next right. Probably going to be uh, Club Italia after this. Um, get that one finished and out of the way. More clubs we do today, the better. I feel like we've got enough cars to do them all anyways, so... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but again, going to have to aim to get every single car. Or find the list of every single club. I probably will have to do that and make sure that I take part in every club. Because I really want to genuinely do... Oh, shit. 
a legitimate 100% playthrough. And quite a bit of penalties there. Just under half of our meter has been gone. But whilst we are miles ahead of the Aston Martin, that is not a problem. Very nice. Flash of the light. And across the line. 135.840. Okay. That was nice. That was really good. Right, next up is the Lamborghini Miura. Okay, I like I like the Miura. It's a very nice car. But uh, we're going to be taking a Pagani Zonda against it. So uh, absolutely destroying it. Not a doubt in my mind that we are going to destroy that car. Here we go. And we're off. Now. Oh no, what is that van doing? Absolutely knocked me off of the track there. Unbelievable. Very nice. Oh, close. Close, but no cigar. No. Woo, that was close. Awesome. Ah, we got a sudden corner here. I was not prepared for that corner. I was too busy looking ahead of me. You should always be glancing down at your mini map, making sure that you are paying attention to where cars are coming from and where your car's supposed to be going. 1 minute 37.238. It was a very good time. We've got one more Lamborghini to go against. I think it is the Murcielago now. Um, so this one, this is getting into A-Class vehicles now. So let's do it. Bethany Hawks in the Lamborghini. Shouldn't be too difficult because I think the Lamborghini only has a top speed of 199 in this game. Might be 203. Look at this thing. I love the look of those um, front headlights, the tiny little headlights. They just look all right. BMW tried those headlights quite a few years ago and they looked horrible. But on this car, it looks really nice. I really do like the Zonda. The Zonda's grown on me. Because I never used to like it and now I quite like it. Same with the Huayra. Never used to like it and now it's like, ooh, that's quite nice. But I think the Hawaii is coming towards the end of its road. Towards the end of its life cycle. We're going to get a Hawaii R at some point. Over the next few years. And then we'll get the next gen Pagani. Hopefully. If they don't go bust. Because we haven't heard a lot from Pagani lately. But also uh, Lamborghini needs to get off of their Aventador train start their next one because the event store has gone on for way too long 10 years is way way too long here we go though very nice across the line 1 minute 19.899 that's a very good time 
Look at that. Got some more money. And now we're on to the two that we're... Well, not worried about. Because the next one is a Zonda C12S. So that should be easy. But uh, it is the McLaren F1 that we are worried about. That McLaren F1 could destroy us big time if we don't do if we don't do a good job. Oh no, the Zonda's in red. Oh, that's not fair. Let's turn our lights on though. Let's copy them. Hey, the lights look very nice in this game though. When you turn on your lights, look at that. That is just awesome. Ah, we messed up. Get back on the road. Get back in a straight line. Perfect. Already driven 32.4 miles in this car. We've driven it quite a lot. And we're going to be driving it in the Italia Club next as well. And then once we've done that, I don't know. Genuinely don't know. Oh, keep it steady. Nice. Careful. Come on. Okay, gone a bit off-road ram there. It's not too bad. get through thank you nice half a mile left to go there's the finish line and we're across it and miles across the track look at that one minute 32.3 that is awesome All right, McLaren F1. I do like the McLaren. I like the F1. Whether I want to go against it, I don't know. But uh, this car is revolutionary. Very much based around F1, hence the name. You are driving in the wrong direction. Because of its centralized driving position. And by the looks of it, this game actually simulates even that central driving position. The one problem with the McLaren F1, though it's got better acceleration than cars like the Bugatti Veyron, uh, it still has quite a long first gear, um, which can be its downfall quite a lot. And it's also a very wide car as well, because of the fact that it has passenger room as well, which is interesting for a car that they want to have... Oh, shit. That is interesting for a car that they want to have a central driving position to have passengers as well. But they managed it. And they managed it very well. But uh, right now, we have no penalty room. Literally. If we go off, it will be game over. But we are getting so much distance on this McLaren. I was expecting to having to struggle and fight for the lead, but apparently not. Okay, careful of those. You crash into those, they can spring you off big time. And whilst we have no room for penalties, would rather not have to do this race again. This is awesome though. Oh, there's a corner here. Careful of it. Don't go off the road. But get the checkpoint. Congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. And 8,000 credits to go alongside it. Well, I think next up, that means we are going to have to go and do the Italian club now. 
So let's make our way there. Right, so next up is going to be our final club for now. Uh, so we are going to the Italian club. Uh, I've got myself a drink as well, so I shouldn't be overheating. We've got sufficient cooling for the uh, processing unit, which is my brain. What is that? That's a gas station. I didn't even know they had those things like textured in this game. That's cool. Uh, we have broken the game though. Uh, there is a permanent drift marker on my screen. And it's right in the middle. Lovely. Hopefully it will be fixed by the time we start the... Uh... Ah, there we go. We need to start another drift to fix it. Oh. Well, the needles want me. Stay away from them, though. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Meow. Problem solved. Okay, so here we go. Here is the Italian club in front of us, and we're going to be driving this very Italian, probably one of the most Italian cars, the Pagani Zonda. Horatio Pagani made an amazing car. And... To reassure us even more, the top car is the same car as us. So that makes life so much easier for us. So we know we are pretty much secured the bag for this one. Uh, so first up is a Alfa Romeo GT V6. I feel really bad going against the GT V6 in a Pagani. That guy works so hard to get into the Italian club and we're about to just like kick him down. Big time. It was already bad enough him being in sixth. He's now going to be in seventh. Starting on either side of a central reservation, which is interesting. By the looks of it, oh, we are getting the upper hand. And this is quite a long event, actually. 6.9 miles. Haha, <laughs> funny. But the uh, Alfa Romeo GT V6 doesn't stand a chance in this place. It's just getting destroyed, unfortunately. But this is a uh, very nice highway that we're going across. The map for this game is insane. If you guys, again, I said this in a previous clip, I think maybe 10 episodes ago could be if you have not played test drive unlimited on the ps2 before right if you own a ps2 get it download it enjoy it or not download it but get get the game put it in the ps2 enjoy it it doesn't cost a lot anymore ps2 games are very cheap and very sort of readily available especially in the UK I'm not sure about other countries but get it it's cheap and it's 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 got just as much content as some of the big games I mean what was that I played Need for Speed Heat I've got more videos out of this than I got out of Need for Speed Heat that was a 50 quid game when it came out this is only like two quid so get it and if you don't have a PS2, or you're running a PlayStation 2 emulator or something like that, download the ISO file for free! You can download a disc red image of this game, put it into your BIOS that you've got, and play it for free. You could even see the game in a higher definition than this. It could look better than what you're seeing right now. And you could enjoy it even more. But seriously, give something like this a try. It's one of those games that you just can't fault. It is stunning. No. No, no. Sorry, I had to add as many sound effects as possible. No. No. I'm not sorry for that at all, by the way. 
Right, nearly three minutes later, we've come to the finish line. That was a very decent race. There we go, three minutes and three seconds. That was very good. Got a little bit of audio glitch again. At least it's only on the loading screen, though. Uh, next up is the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Let's go. Also, about the last clip where I said about the PS2 emulator, obviously, I don't recommend doing emulation for, like, modern consoles. Don't get into, like, trying to pirate games. It's not good. It's not good on the gaming industry at all. But for games that are completely out of circulation, out of life, no longer on sale, things like Test Drive Unlimited, the only way you can get it is from a used game store with a PS2. Things like that, then it's fine. It doesn't matter then. But don't I hate seeing people trying to like pirate games and stuff like that because that is just not on. Um, one, once the consoles are out of circulation and there's a new one, do what you want to it. It's fine. The company, Sony doesn't care about the PS3 anymore. Oh, here we go. Sony doesn't care about the PS2 or even the PS1. But just don't do like piracy until a console is dead because that way you're not harming anyone and you're actually gaining quite a lot from it as well right but next up Lamborghini Miura P400 SV this is gonna be a very good one Test Drive Unlimited. Off we go. This is going to be good. And we're off. 7.2 miles for this race. Wow. It's going to take much longer to complete this club. But uh, once we've done this... Uh, I think we're going to go on to a couple of races or something. I know I'm going to be jumping onto uh, a couple of test drive PS2 forums. Because you can find forums from 2006. Right, they're still active. Uh, especially on sites like IGN. Where you can get like Gran Turismo 4 prize lists. I've been using that a lot. But uh, also to find out stuff about the game. So we're going to find out every single club. So that we can take part in every single club. Ah, uh, not great, not great. Okay. There we go. Nice. Come on. Keep it smooth and steady. Very nice. Ah, uh, no. Oh, that was close. We've got a long way for this race, and bearing in mind uh, we do have off-road penalties for the entire of every single club, uh, you do sort of have to be a very cautious on how you're taking corners. But uh, Master Points, we're not seeming to get that many at the moment, which is really surprising. I mean, we've got 250,000. We've got 100,000 in the first few, like, in the first hour of yesterday's recording session, and now, nothing probably been an hour for today's recording session and we're only at 36,000 for today not even that crazy okay no we've gone past let's try and jump on here oh is it gonna make me jump up okay let's go for it perfect oh yeah because it's making us come off the road here Oh, that would have been risky if we carried on going down that road. 
We wouldn't have actually been able to get up there. Oh, not great. Uh, what car are we actually going against? It's a Miura, isn't it? I think. I think it was the Miura. Awesome. I think we're going down this same road that we went down with the Alfa Romeo. Uh, there's Ricardo. Call it whichever Ricardo you want to. Either Sexy Ricardo or Daniel Ricardo. Oh, not great. Okay. That was really good. GG's all round. This game came out the same year that Renault had a very good year in Formula 1. That is crazy. I actually need to check if uh, F1 2009 is on the uh, PS2. Because if so, we're going to have to do a video on that. Monstrosity. 3 minutes 30.95. That is very good. Awesome. I really do feel like we're going to have to do like an F1 2009 monstrosity video. Because that was on the PSP. So I presume it would be on the PS2 as well. Right, but next up, Lamborghini Gallardo Roadster, Angelo Sculio. I think that's how you say that. These all look like very uh, Italian names, apart from uh, Ricardo Troy. Very good. Okay, here we go. Lamborghini Gallardo Coupe. His head is popping out. That's not supposed to be that tall, mate. Awesome. We're off. Ah. Uh, okay. That was very close. I saw that car coming around the corner. Bit worried there. Oh, no. What are you doing? Okay, get back on the road. Nice. Awesome. That was a good corner there. Oh, imagine owning a Zonda. That is just one of the most stunning cars in the world. It would be so cool to own one. And it's making us go up this road again. You can definitely tell this game got very repetitive sometimes. Still very fun to play. Like, the, I find the more races there are that you have to complete, as long as they're spread out and you're not doing like the same area over and over again, and then you never see that area again, as long as they're spread out and you mix them up, more the better. I love events. More to do, more stuff to do. Especially when I go and say, oh yeah, I'm doing a 100% playthrough. That's gonna uh, take me some time. I feel like Test Drive Solar Crown again has a lot to live up for with these games. If I play Test Drive Solar Crown and I prefer this over the Solar Crown one, be a big disappointment. Right, next up is the Pagani Zonda C12S Roadster. This is going to be a very nice car to go up against because uh, we haven't driven the Roadster version of our car and we haven't got against it yet. So, going up against it is going to be quite a nice change of pace. We'll see whether we made a decent choice saving a hundred grand. I mean, we definitely made a decent choice because we can't afford that thing. But yeah, that thing's much slower than us. We made a good choice. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right, we're going on the right-hand side. This is 
where most of the traffic goes legally. Okay, not great. Get back on the road, <laughs> quick. <laughs> Ooh, that was horrible. I did not like that. Nice. No! No! Unbelievable, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to retry that now. <laughs> That was crazy. Uh, I saw that car on the inside. And for some reason, I decided to go round towards the off-road section rather than going round him. So uh, that didn't go in my favor. Right, let's try not to uh, miss that junction this time. Okay, we spun out. Sent Nick off road though. No. Sent us off road as well. Okay. Here it is. That was good. Nick is just behind us. Come on, come on. Awesome. Gotta go this way. Don't crash off here. Very nice. Managed to survive this time. Squeeze it through there. Perfect. Uh, I saw a lorry, so uh, we're not going to uh, go against that thing. Lorries and wide cars like this. Never gone well with me driving. Now we can say the traffic cars never went well with me driving as well. Nick is catching up. Let's see if we can get that speed back up so he can't get past us. And nope, he can't get past. Perfect. Not yet anyways. Though he is did close up quite a lot in that previous corner. So let's see if we can just keep him back. And yes, we can. That is it. We are now Vice President of Club Italia. After Club Italia. Well, I don't know what club we're going to do after that. But we now have the next Pagani to go against. And so next up is the Pagani Zonda C12S. The same car as us. This is for becoming... The president of the Club Italia. This is very good. It's very hot in here still. It's a very warm day. A nice cold glass of uh, Pepsi Max. Right, 5.7 miles. Let's go. And the Zonda had to slow down. Oncoming traffic was too much for it. But uh, we went off-road, which gives Adriano a chance to catch up. Keeping Adrian behind. Adriano, however you want me to call you. Ah. Very nice. Uh, we're at 69 miles now. Just gone over to 70. Driven quite a lot in this car, so I feel like we're going to have to mix it up a bit. Do something that doesn't require a Pagani Zonda. Oh, we're back at this road again. This is like the fourth race that we've done where we've come to this road. Genuinely is the fourth race that we've done on this road. Maybe fifth. Just from this club. Crazy. 
I mean, I'm not complaining. I've got practice on it now. The cool thing about this game as well um, is that isn't in the other test drives is if you don't want to play multiplayer, it gets rid of all the multiplayer stuff. Right? But you don't have to play the game multiplayer to unlock everything. Right? This is the thing. Whereas Test Drive Unlimited 2, yes, you didn't have to do multiplayer to play everything, but there were so many multiplayer races only and those markers there. And there were some pretty cool looking races. You couldn't play them unless you have multiplayer. I mean, I didn't have Xbox Live back then, so I couldn't play them. And even then, I didn't have friends. <laughs> but there we go. Club Italia. We are now the president of the Italian Racing Club. That is sick. And there we go. Us in the president's chair. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.